previously on Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. We defeat Beelzebub and finally lift the curse on the corridors within the labyrinth of Amala. However, we have one more obstacle in our way, and that was to find the Sun Key. After running around all over the Vortex world and retracing our steps in the labyrinth of Amala, we are finally able to head down to the fifth Kalpa. It is explained that the menorahs are to be used to he give birth to, to a new demon, demon one who will finally and end the stalemate between the forces of good and evil. And As it turns out, Demifeed is to become that demon, if he chooses to accept it. Finally, okay. we meet Dante one last time and convince him to join forces for the low, low price of one Maka. The final battle between the army of God and the Devil's Legions. This ought to be interesting. Alright, so we're taking a little side trip. Uh, this is the fourth Kalpa. I decided to check uh, what happens if you enter the uh, the portal thing, the, the portal thing in the fourth Kalpa at different Kagatsuchi phases. I went in at two, I already tried one and now this is two, so let's see what goes on here. This is a prison for souls. Once you're inside, you can never get out. But if you do find a way out, please let me know. So yeah. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go straight because going through doors in this place, exactly. Let, let's try pure straight. Oh my God. Spirit? No one can escape from this prison. You might as well give up all hope. Just look at me. I'm going absolutely nowhere. I guess it's a sign to turn. <laughs> oh my god. There are two souls with extraordinary power in prison here. Have you talked to either of them? Oddly enough, it feels like I met them somewhere before. So this is where all the dead mannequins went. Ooh, Vortex. What do you have to say? Don't get too close. It's dangerous. Just kidding. You think this is the exit? There was a guy who escaped from here with something he called the Afterlife Bell. He was saying that the bell has the power to resurrect the dead. If that's true, I wonder if he's come back to life in a cemetery somewhere. Huh. Wasn't there a cemetery... Wasn't there a cemetery we passed by? Hang on, let's check the other rooms. I don't think there's anything else here. Oh god. I forgot you can actually get into fights in this place. Okay, so now we only- I went through the door before I cut and now we only have one door to go through. Well, that's not good. Now what? Oh, okay. I was like, huh? Oh. Thank god. Is this the start again? This is a pretty- yeah, it's a start again. So... I think we need to get to find the exit again. Oh, look. Gurulu. Uh, retreat. Maybe I should just go back the way I did. I came. Like, the last time. I feel like the last time worked pretty well. But I guess not. Spirit? Oh, you're so close. You're bound to find the exit any minute now. But which way is it? North, south, east, or west? Good luck finding it. By the way, I know exactly where it is. Well, he was facing this way. Okay. So I understand the map now. It's just a grid. It, it, it's just a 3x3 three three grid. With one path just getting you absolutely lost. Is the exit. Let's continue on. If you want to go back, then return to the 12 meters of eternity. It's really strange on the other side. Okay. So this is... Yeah, this is the... So it, that's interesting. No matter what way you go through this area you you still end up at the right place so i guess in 
I just got lucky and picked the Kagatsuchi one or whatever, right? So, um, it was mentioned that we need to f go look at the cemetery, and I know exactly where that cemetery is, if I don't, if I recall correctly. All right, so we're back. Uh, I'm starting the vid the cut here because I just want to show you that uh, from Ikebukuro, this is Ikebukuro itself. You just go down, and demons grow restless at your presence. We don't want that because uh, honestly, I just realized that we haven't been on the in to this cemetery in a long time. So I'm not surprised if everyone forgot about it. So I just wanted to show how to get here. So this is Zo Zoshigaya Cemetery. What do you have to say? Oh, there's something on the ground now. The mannequin over there died. He died the instant he became human. You see, humans cannot exist in the vortex world. Oh, he... He used the belt to become human, then died. There's a stain in the shape of a human. Something is in its hand. Will you take it? Sure. You obtained the afterlife bell. Okay. So what does have that have to do with anything? I have the afterlife bell. And... That only tells me that it has something to do with fusion, just like the death stones. Like, you know how the Death Stones, uh, you use Death Stones to fuse the, the fiends you murder, like the, the riders and whatever, which I want to do, but it's kind of a pain in the ass because you need to wait for the Kagatsuchi. But, so I probably won't do that. But I think I'm gonna try to see what this guy, this little thing fuses into, this afterlife bell. There's a lot more demon, okay, so here's the thing, right? Dante is never leaving my side. I want Dante in my team for the rest of the game. But the problem is... Garud Titan has skills I need. Specifically, just Rakunda actually. But I want Rakunda on my team. And Garuda... Hmm. Let's think about this. Anyway, yeah. And Garuda also has uh, skills that I need because uh, Garuda has the sub heal and Tsukukaja. So you can't really replace both of them, but I need to replace one of them because Dante is going to be in my team. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm just going to be playing around with Fusion. I might just run around first before, All right. before deciding hmm. what to do. Okay, so I'm back at the fourth Kalpa. Because, I don't know, I want to explore the other uh, phases again, you know, because 2 literally gave me a new item. I don't know what it does yet, but it literally gave me a new item. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go in randomly, like, I don't know, maybe 3? Or maybe I can go back in two because uh, they mentioned that there were two strong spirits in there. So I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe I need to find both of them. This prison for souls once you can leave. But if you do find a way out, please let me know. Is it even in our key items? Can we actually use it? An earthen bell that guides lost souls. Okay, so I got back here because this is the guy that mentioned the afterlife bell. So maybe he's the one I, that knows what I should do with it. Man, I should have tagged along if I only if only I'd known that was a way out. I wonder if he's come back to life in a cemetery somewhere. It's not it. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> All right, let's try this again. This time I'm gonna go not the way I usually go. I'm gonna go straight down this hallway. Because, I mean, I haven't really seen everything there is in this area, so I guess it makes sense. Sound of the bell. Oh, there we go. I think we're getting somewhere. The sound of the bell unites a soul to a body. There was a guy who managed to escape this prison. Okay. So I think we're on the right track. Just keep going forward. If my theory is right, this is just a grid. It's, a, it's just a 3x3 three three grid. Never mind. It's a 5x5 five five grid. <laughs> Oh, come on. Stop it. I'm not... 
I'm not even interested in fighting anymore. Let's go. Oh yeah, there is someone here. Hey, I want to ask you something. Do you think it's wrong to kill to your heart's content? Uh. This is a trick question. I'm gonna go with no. I do get me. Back when I was alive, I was practically a one-man slaughterhouse. They're all the same. Just flesh and blood under a thin layer of skin. But to tell you the truth, deep down inside, I've always wondered what it'd be like to feel warmth and kindness. I've lived my life causing nothing but pain and suffering for others. Oh, is this remorse? I never once felt bad about it. And I don't regret living that way either. But, when I met that girl, the words just slipped out of my mouth. What do you mean? Everyone has kindness in their heart. Aww, so a girl saved your heart. Why the hell did I say that? Cheesy, but okay. Maybe I was just curious what it was like to be close to someone. To belong. If I could live my life again, I... I'd want to be the kind of person who everyone wants around. Damn, what am I saying? Why am I getting all emotional? You're really one weird demon. I've never told anyone about this before. Hey, by any chance, would you be able to guide my soul from here? Is that what the bell does? Fine, let's say yes. Oh yeah, it is! You're around the afterlife, bell. It's pure tone fills the air. I guess it's time to say goodbye to this place. The part of my soul that I was missing. The me that I really wanted to become. It's gonna wait with other demons for a new life. <sighs> okay, okay, I see what we're supposed to do now. And it was mentioned that there were two of them, so I guess I have to look for the other one. Oh, it's actually blue in here. Amazing. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Because we're in a maze. And it's a maze. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so continuing on with the small-minded tactics <laughs> of how to actually get everything. Instead of going full right, let's go full straight up. Is this the... Yeah, it's a police guy, so we've been here and we went there for the exit. So what happens if we go full up? Uh, let's try left, because this should be the upper left corner. Okay, we got it. Do your best, and eventually, you'll get somewhere. That's something I always believe. So the two spirits are in the upper left and the lower right of this maze, for anyone wondering. So I made my contribution to society by doing just that. My company grew as a result, and became highly regarded by all. Do you think my life was a success? Well, yeah, but that's not the only measure of success. I, I'm, I'm really thinking that these are trick questions, so I'm just gonna say no. I see. Yeah, you might be right. Just when I thought I'd achieved happiness, my fortune collapsed like a house of cards. You should be careful. You never know what tomorrow may bring. You know, usually a fortune collapsing is your fault like you didn't diversify you didn't leave anything for savings but sure so much time has passed yet my soul still burns with rage is that why you're red i should have taken revenge back then for what that boy did to me i sense that you have a power beyond that of any ordinary demon would you be willing to lead my wandering soul to salvation ah uh, sure let's be nice you rang the afterlife bell. Its pure tone fills the air. Uh, I can see my writhing heart. A new shape surrounds it. I am in a place that gives rise to many demons. <laughs> Are you okay, bro? I don't think I should have saved you, but okay. The soul vanished. Is that... Is that it? I guess that's it. I mean, I'll keep 
I'll keep exploring, but I think we're done here. Yeah, this is the upper upper track of the map, so this should end end us up in the yeah, it's still here. Okay, so I'll keep exploring, but I think that's all we need to do for now. And I'll see if anything changed in the fusion because I really, I really feel that uh, this has something to do with fusion. Oh my god. Hmm. It's him! <laughs> I wonder why... Okay, so I was expecting... You know how this was a different dude a, a bit back? This wasn't Futo Mimi a bit back. But apparently, because I, I was like... I, I couldn't find anything in the labyrinth anymore, so I just went back and decided to start playing with fusion. Again, I wanted to fuse Garuda and uh, Titan because Garuda and Titan are the ones that I want to merge the skills so I can make space for Dante, right? And Futomimi is here. So that's what the bell does. And I can select skills. Hmm. Okay. Repulse force attacks. Anyway, so what I, what I got? I got focus, war, cry, and lunch. <laughs> this is lit. That's literally MC. But uh, I think fo yeah, photo meme is just more magic based. So you're just gonna be a debuff slave anyway. So Rakunda, Dekaja, Rakukaja, and Sukukaja. Is that what I want? I mean, is there anything else? Well... <laughs> Life Surge is pretty good, but... Holy crap, that's 647 HP. I think I don't need the Kaja. Because we have... I think we have the Kaja rocks. I, I don't know if we do, actually. We don't need Raku Kaja. Actually, this is the problem with trying to... Uh... Cram, <laughs> basically cram all of all of the support skills on one guy, because you end up with something like that, and it's like, whoa, what? <laughs> right. Anyway, I'll think about it a bit more. Hang on. All right, so we're going with this. I decided to give him a magic skill just because he has high magic, and while I'd I'd have appreciated a fire or a leg skill just to round off elemental coverage, well, I can't have everything. I pick Glacial Blast because it has a chance to hit more than one time. Not like Zandine and Mazandine and only hits once. Are you sure? So let's do it. Let's get Futo Mimi into our team. <laughs> this is weird. I am Futo Mimi of the Kishin clan. Oh, Kishin. I have returned from the dead to help. Well, at least you're self-aware. All right. Hmm. And I think that's it. Titania is just healer, so she can be whatever she wants to be over there. Where is he? Okay. I think that's it. Alright. So, with that out of the way, and my team more or less set in stone, let's head back to Yurakucho Tunnel, and let's see if the... If the prospector guy is already done with his prospecting, you know, the one I gave Ase to uh, in a few episodes back. So, god damn, I keep forgetting this place is super dark. Lytoma. And it's just out this door. Ah, I just realized that after, after doing this, I'm gonna have to go down that tunnel. I've, I'm, I've been putting it off because... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't. I don't want another tunnel section. It's so. It's so. It's not that it's hard. It's just really annoying. Woo! There's a giant hole here now. Damn! Did you did you work Aussie to death? Holy crap! It's a lot of work. Oh god! It's full Kagatsuchi. Oh! <laughs> oh, Kaiwan! Hello, Kaiwan! How oh how the mighty have fallen. Uh, oh, you have whirlwind. It's four, so thank God I give photo Mimi ice then. Okay, I guess let's let's try rebellion. <laughs> oh, 
Mm. <laughs> My team is so strong. Save. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah, keep leveling there, Pisaka. I did it! I did it! Whoo, doggy! I finally found a treasure. I owe you, little buckaroo. We'll split the treasure, as promised. There's four chests ahead, so pick two of them. Well, that's... Awfully kind of you. Oh, but the others are mystic chests. Hmm. You're not gonna take that one after all. Hurry up and pick two, I got a jamboree. What? Oh. You know, screw it, they'll just open it, whatever. Sapphire. I think that's what, what's gonna be in it anyway. One more. I guess I'll go with this one. Kimon Stone. Yeah, pick two, right? Then the rest is mine. Thanks, Tia. My lifelong dream's been finally fulfilled. You're more useful than a terrier in a backyard full of prairie dogs. Your demon kicked the bucket. <laughs> Sorry about that, partner. I'm surprised he was able to dig that deep, too, so... So what's the Keymon Stone, then? Keymon Stone. Crimson Stone that shines brightly. Okay, actually, I was kind of spoiled about the Keymon Stone. So I have an idea where to use it. So I'm gonna go use it there now. <laughs> Alright, so you guys remember this place? This... Ueno Park and remember the building that was up here Temple of North is there is there to seal the Kimon of Tokyo, but what's a Kimon? So that's exactly what this stone is for. It's for this building. I Realize I haven't saved. I'm gonna ah oh. uh. Oh Whatever we can we can do this we have Dante on our side. There is a temple. The Kimon stone began to shine. The seal has been broken. Will you enter? Yes, I will. What are we gonna find in here? This is creepy. This reminds me of Fatal Frame. Who the fuck are you? Bishama Bishamonten. So it is you who has broken my seal. I have heard rumors of you, but I sense something different about you. You are not an ordinary demon, are you? <laughs> I'm average. <laughs> I knew it. Then show me what power you possess. No. What a bore. Be gone! Let me save. Okay, I'm actually scared. Let me save. That, that guy looks super serious. Okay, I've saved. Yes, I will enter. This time, we're gonna take the challenge. Let's do this. Now, do you feel like fighting me? Yes, I do. I guarded the Tokyo of old with my comrades. I will show you my power. Prominence! Boom! <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll, I'll take you up on that offer. Uh, that didn't really hurt that much. Provoke. I like how he actually heals SP for doing that. Fog breath. Futo Mimi. <laughs> it feels so weird me having Futo Mimi on the team. Sukukaja! Tarukaja! Your move. Boom. Miss. Let's try Rebellion? <laughs> 503! Start focusing. I think it's fine. And Futomimi can... 
Rakunda one more time. Because I think Provoke is only times two. So we, we still have two more levels to drop his defense down. Prominence. He's gonna hit someone. Oh, it didn't. Interesting. Rebellion. Holy Star. We don't need Holy Star. These are magic. Multiple physical damage to one foe. Let's see how this works. Ebony and Ivory. Yeah, it is. <laughs> A lot of damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, one more, and then Futomimi can start focusing himself. <laughs> Tarukaja. Die by my spear. Focus. Okay, that's probably gonna hurt. Haso Shabaka. Okay, that's that. It was okay. It was okay. Rebellion. I think Rebellion still deals more damage. <laughs> Iron Claw! <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming. Prayer. Full HP recovery and cues all ailments for the party. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm guessing you just have, I, I'm guessing you take more SP than this one. So I guess we're kicking out Charisma because we don't need anyone else. I got my team. Huh. Just as he said, your powers are far greater than what I have imagined. Now, like my comrades, I must lend my powers to him. I would like to fight you again, but I must be going. Take this. You obtain the Magatama Gundari. If you have enough power to obtain all of these, then you will be able to set foot in the world I am going to. If that should happen, then we shall meet again. What do you mean? I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's empty now. But what? What do you mean? You you want me to obtain all the Magatama? What does Gundari do? Imparts force magic. Nah, meh. <laughs> uh, oh god, is Gaia? Ro yeah, go Gaia is kind of squiggling around. I will. Hang on, was I on? I think I was in Votari the whole. What was I on last time? Oh no, Votari is. Why is there this word Votari up in the left? What does that mean? Interesting. Okay. Uh, anyway, let, let's see how much... Yeah, it's 50. And it looks like it only works in, in, in battle. So, I guess. Alright. Um, I guess there's nothing more to do than... Aside from pushing on through Yurakucho Tunnel, I guess. So I'll, I'll, I guess I'll show you guys a bit of that. And then we can end the episode wherever we end the episode. All right, so it's full Kagatsuchi. I want to see what's in here. Oh! You needed to go here in full Kagatsuchi. That's weird. But I, I don't know. I was like... I couldn't get this this room out of my head, so I was like, you know, let's try to treat it like a summoning area and go in full Kagatsuchi. And here it is! A dark ceremony is about to commence, but something is definitely off. Why is there two mannequins here? Damn it, damn it, damn it! I'm tired of everyone dunking on us just because we're mannequins! <laughs> okay. You know what? We're about to hit him with the longest. Strongest, wrongest demon of them all! Who, Mara? Hell yeah we are! It's payback time, suckers! I don't know the details, but they say this guy is an absolute unit. <laughs> and if Mara really is that magnificent, <laughs> then hurry up and whip him out already! Oh boy. All the innuendos. <laughs> Clearly you two are first time. Do you not know that summoning is a consummate act of patience? 
Mm -hmm. Besides, Mara is... Uh, how should I say? A fickle demon. Yeah, sure he is, buddy. Were we to rouse him prematurely, <laughs> he would not be able to come to us at full strength. Stop beating around the bush and answer us! We're done being jerked around by the bad guys, so will you summon our mean green pounding machine or not? <sighs> Guy on the right is right, Mr. Baffle Man. <laughs> we need the demonic hookups, yo. Guy on the right is right. <laughs> hey, you! Half-naked demon dude! Back us up, bro! Why, yes, I am a half-naked demon dude. Don't go face here to summon Mara and give us a ride on the gravy train! Hold your damn heart. Whatever. See? Three against one! Now hurry up and get this Mara party started! I want to see if he's actually going to summon Mara. <sighs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Baphomet begins to chant. I'm gonna get demonetized for demonic chanting. Are you okay, Mr. Abafamet? <laughs> That's like only. <laughs> you only summoned. Where's his card? summoned Mara the Magnificent in the incomplete body of a slime. Oh, oh, it's, it's hideous! You think it would have been less hideous? If you summon him completely? <laughs> oh my god. It's actually a fight. <laughs> Oh no. You do realize <laughs> who you're fighting, don't you, Mr. Mar Mara? Incomplete Mara, I guess. Yeah, you're. you're, you're uh, I don't expect him to actually do anything. No, he's actually Mara. He's Tyrant Mara. I wonder if he can summon a full version of this guy out of curiosity. All right, what, what, what does he even do? Daya Rahan, 2300! The Smotoon. Okay. So we're gonna need to kind of one-shot him, I guess. Provoke. If we need to kind of one-shot him, then... We're gonna need... Well, this should do. Not if it miss, it won't. <laughs> Rakunda. Dismal tune. I guess rebellion? I mean. 557. But we're. Oh, uh, he's just gonna heal himself again. I hope he don't doesn't heal himself again. Also, he's actually dealing nice damage. Look, I'm already half life. Prayer. Right. Majorahan. Your move, Dairahan. Yeah, it's just full HP all the time. Okay, so we need to deal 2300 damage in one turn. I think we can do it if this lands. 933. And if this lands, we should be able to do it. Yep. Okay. Great Chakra. That wasn't that bad, but I guess it's just an optional boss, so I shouldn't have really expected much from it anyway. Baphomet and the mannequins ran away. Something is on the ground. Oh, it's a Magatama! Muspel. Well, that was interesting to say the least. Anyway, what was I doing? Uh, why am I here again? Oh yeah, I decided to look for all of the Magatama. That's, why, that's what I'm doing here. So... Because what Bisham, Bishaman, that, the other guy said about collecting all the Magatama actually got me interested. 
But I feel like we're gonna have to do the Asakusa puzzle because, you know, it's, you know, that uh, the video game thing in Asakusa. I feel like it's something that Des would do to hide a Magatama in. Uh, how should I put this? Uh, an out of the way thing, you know, just as games back then used to do. Anyway, I'm gonna go down this first just so we can advance the plot a little bit in this entire. What? Oh, it's a slide. <laughs> he already warned me and I didn't listen. You know, uh, so that this episode isn't all side missions. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go left first. Ladder down. Sure. I'm just gonna keep going down until we <laughs> find the exit. I hope this place isn't super complicated. I don't think it is. And as I say that, there are two doors in a corner. All right, so we got. I got to my first uh, S terminal, so that means I'm going the right way. Basically, all right. Here's B two, right? You go down here. You take the first down. I don't know what's at the end of this hallway, but it's probably wrong. And then B four leads you here. You want to take this first one. And then B5, you go up and then right. If you go down, it's a one-way door and you have to walk all the way here and climb back up. There's another uh, path here. Uh, this is a slidey, slidey thing, which comes up from this room, I'm guessing. So that's why I told you not to go in there because it's just going to uh, force you to climb back up this ladder. So... Yeah, I think I'll just make a separate video on all of the weird tunnel maps and whatever. Holy crap. I'm out. But what it took to go out? Well, I'm going to make a map episode on it because it kind of deserves it. But... Yeah. <laughs> it's not complicated. The thing is, the problem is, it's not complicated when you see the map it's only complicated in the execution because here here's b2 of yurakucho by the way it's on the other side here's b3 and then there's an, an another b3 all the way up here it's only complicated when you're doing it because the combination of the encounter rate plus well the the general confu confusing nature of the maze Re really kind of wears on you when you're actually playing it. But when you think of it conceptually, it's really easy. Like, I, I just show you guys the maps. It's really not that complicated, but I'll save that for the map episode. Anyway, we're here. Finally. Uh, Who the hell is that guy? Because we'll find out. Dang, you're pretty tough making it through that tunnel. But you're best, best off not going near the diet building if you get in the way of Commander Hikawa. Or are you here to help Commander Hikawa? No. Then you really should stay away. <laughs> I mean, when has the Demi-Fiend ever listened to what was said to him? Alright, we're in Kasumi. Gaseki Station. And here's an Eligor. Are you here because you heard the command? That Commander Hikawa is summoning a god. Yes. I see. But there's no need to help. We got the biggest and baddest on our side. I won't tell you to turn back. But from here on out, I can't guarantee your safety. Oh, how bad could it be? <laughs> I mean, at this point, we've already gone through most of the game. We've seen... We've been through the Amal. Oh, god. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Vitality incense. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we've been through that model network and back. It like there's nothing there's nothing more to experience every every hell. We've been through every hell. All right, so strength and incense, we can give this what well, what's Dante's stats? Let's see what Dante's stats are. Pretty balanced, but I want him. I want more strength on him, so I can give him an, a vitality incense. I mean, the strength incense. 
Come on. There we go. Dante. Yay. <laughs> I actually give an incense to a demon that's not Demi-Fiend. Amazing. Anyway. Alright, let's go this way. Yes, I will leave the area. Ka... Kasumi Gaseki. I'm never gonna... Is that the... Oh! That's the... That's Isamu's temple, right? That's Amala Temple. So this is the other side of the Amala Temple. The Diet Building's right here. Talk about big... <laughs> Talk about big balls. Hikawa is literally right beside Isamu's temple, summoning his own god. It's like a direct challenge. Well, Chiaki technically stayed away and stayed in Mifunashiro. <laughs> Hikawa's like, nope, I'm gonna summon my god right here. Right here. Diet building. I've always wondered why it's called a diet building. It, like, is it diet a name for the Senate or something? Oh, lost one. I warn thee, leave us this place at once. This edifice of Magatsuhi is in the Nihilus possession. Our god shall descend upon us and we shall acquire our reason. Leave us not and thy life shall be the price. Be gone, lost sheep. You can no longer hear the voice. And I no longer give a fuck. Save, save. Save is up there. Okay, so I guess we'll leave the episode here. If you want to see how the diet building is going to go, and hopefully it doesn't put us on a diet, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.